Good morning, folks. The sun is as it was yesterday. Tons of features, but little eruptive action. We will go over that, a tropical storm, two articles, and something to watch today. But the sun is currently calm. Solar wind, geomagnetism, solar flaring, plasma filament stability. We will be watching all of those today, but so far we've not had the eruptions to match the features. Several of you are concerned about the big sunspot group, but not only should we be remembering that the next 5.9 month uptick is at least a month away, but the magnetism of this sunspot group also indicates that its danger is less than its size. We will, of course, keep monitoring that for shifting morphology today, but now we're on to the East Pacific. Tropical system is growing, strengthening, but very unlikely to make impact to land. Not only can you always check forecasts on the wind map or several other sources, but below the video in today's link list, you'll find the page with all these spaghetti models so you can see every forecast for every storm. You'll want to save that link for when the storm season kicks in harder. A solid article here on what happens to the radiation belts when Earth's magnetic field weakens, including the enhanced risk of interaction of charged particles with the atmosphere. It's always a solid topic, but they are indeed using some of the older data suggesting we were losing 5% of the magnetic field per century when the last updates from the ESA swarm were that we jumped to 5% per decade and that it was continuing to accelerate. Third time's a charm here. We have already seen two articles about the core excitation surges, and here we find another from a more general perspective confirming the enhanced core rotation over the last three decades. This is what we've expected with Earth's weakening magnetic field, and it helps explain why Earth is rotating faster and faster, set to break the fastest day on record next month, or shortest day depending on your preferred phrasing, and the shortest or fastest year on record for the third year in a row. Lastly, folks, little big burb short over at our other channel. While we await some last parts to finish the burb, Rocky's test driving the new 2022 Suburban found a pretty serious flaw, something that poses a pretty significant risk if you are towing or doing other serious power moves with the Duramax. We greatly appreciate your support. All those links are below the video in the description box. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.